The price of parking outside popular bars, lounges, and nightclubs in Houston has millennials and Gen Zs sounding off about the toll it's taking on their wallets. Tonight, we're asking, is the price of parking hurting business and the economy? Fox 26's Gabby Hart looks into Houston's nightlife parking scene to get some answers. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. You want to park it? Uh, how much is it to park here? $10, I'm not talking. $10? Okay. Where do you park if you just want to park free? There's no free parking. There's no free parking? Not anywhere? Anywhere. $40 for regular parking and then $60 to keep it up front VIP. Okay. Is it always that much here? Uh, so morning times, it's actually less. Okay. But since it's Washington and it's at night, we do charge $40 and $60. Okay. From downtown to midtown, whether it's a weekday or a weekend, afternoon or night, anyone looking to park near popular lounges, bars, and clubs could be spending anywhere from $10 to $100. Definitely a money grab. We're spending $40 on a parking spot when we can spend $40, you know, out with our friends. It's capitalism. That's yeah. all it is. For partygoers who are trying to have a good time on a budget, spending that much money before you even get to the food or drinks just isn't an option. But unfortunately, neither is free parking. On the street, in here, on the McDonald's. All around. Everywhere, the other side, on the back, you have to pay the money. Wow. Okay, thank you. And the small amount of available street parking spots are almost always taken early. How hard was it finding that street spot? Uh, it took a couple loop-de-loops. Why loop around instead of just going into one of the parking lots? They're like $20 to $30. Pretty expensive. You just yeah. want to grab some cocktails. But at some venues, street parking isn't an option at all. So right now, if we were trying to go to Prospect Park, which is a popular lounge, this is the street leading up to it. There's no parking on this street. Prospect Park is over to our right over here if we were to keep straight there's no parking on this street no free parking at least if we make a right you have a mcdonald's you have businesses that will tow you if you try to park there and if we make a left you'll see when we turn this way that these are all lots that are also charging you to park there. And as for the empty restaurant and shopping center parking lots that surround these establishments, when those businesses close, the lots are then leased out to parking companies. But yeah. in this area here, nothing. Everything's charging, huh? Man. They charge here, they charge, the down they charge, everywhere. And there's no like street parking on these sides, so. No, they're because of construction. And these parking prices have some Houstonians finding risky loopholes. We didn't pay to park, but it's a risk because if you don't pay to park, then you got to pay the ticket. Yeah. Mm. So where'd you guys park at? Don't tell them. They're going to tell us. How are we going to tell man. you? Fox 26 spoke anonymously with the general manager of a local parking company. He told us the companies pay a set fee to use the parking lots throughout the city on nights and weekends. And the price that they charge people... Well, that depends on the demand. Now, even if there's the Astro game, if it is you know, the Yankees, the Red Sox, the big game, they charge more. They're going to get people going to Mini Mary and go to the clubs. So during times like Super Bowl weekend, we could see prices inflate as high as $70 to $100. It's a little bit steep. It does feel like a money grab. It is a money grab. Stephen Craig is a professor of economics at the University of Houston. But the economy is really a very democratic institution, right? We don't care who pays the money or really who gets it. The prices are what tell people what to do. He says these lots are able to charge so much because people are willing to pay. When you're spending your money, you're voting. The city is going to respond to what you're doing. But is anyone regulating this industry? We reached out to the city, hoping for a sit-down interview to ask some questions. They declined and instead sent a statement saying, in part, the city of Houston does not regulate private parking lot fees. Large parking lots should be built, but like Houston's not going to do that, obviously. Professor Craig says as the city continues to expand, it's highly unlikely that we'll see the parking situation change for the better anytime soon. I mean, uh, get a good job, right? <laughs> Life is expensive. <laughs> you really want to, the way you want to live your life is to make sure you're spending your money on the stuff you want the most. In Houston, I'm Gabby Hart, Fox 26 News.